This was not a if, but a when. This was bound to happen. And in light of this, and in light of the completely unconscionable decision last night by the district attorney of the city and county of San Francisco, we call unequivocally for the immediate resignation of District Attorney Brooke Jenkins, the immediate resignation of Mayor London Nicole Breed, and the complete and permanent closure of the Walgreens at 4th and Market Street. Being very clear, the death of Banco Brown, unknown to others as China Brown, was nothing short of a lynching. And anyone that stands beside that is standing beside lynching. There is no gray area there. Say it, brother. San Francisco's current approach to public safety is not safe at all, nor is it public. It is organized coercion, organized violence against our communities. We keep our communities safe, and we demand that you get your boots off of our neck. I hate a lot of people on this board <laughs> for the reasons that led up to Banco Brown's death. So often I prepare something, maybe it's a little historical, you know, maybe a little poetic, whatever. There's a lot of performative people on this board who will say one thing in support of black people, homeless people, trans people, and then immediately stab you in the face, being racist, transphobic anti-homeless. So I don't have any words prepared today. I just want you to feel our pain. I don't know if you can at this point based off your policy choices, but I have to pretend you have some form of empathy left. So I am going to spend the next minute screaming because that is what is going on in here. That is what the trans genocide in this country in this city has brought me to. My name is Jordan Davis. My pronouns are she, her, or they, them. Black Lives Matter, defund the police, disarm security. I find it fucking sick that Brooke Jenkins refuses to charge a security guard who warned one of my fellow trans people. Benko Brown, a black trans man. I know plenty of my white girl friends who actually shoplift and they don't get fucking killed. <laughs> Brooke Jenkins don't care about black or trans people. Brian and Greed don't care about black and or trans people. We need real solutions instead of bullshit ass thoughts and prayers. The city needs to ban security guards from having guns, but most importantly, we demand housing. We demand health care. We demand reparations for the black community. Frankly, I don't care if this extrajudicial killing leads to riots, fires, looting, and graffiti. A life was lost, and lives are more important than property. Crook Jenkins should fucking resign. London Great should fucking resign. Catherine Step on Me should fucking resign because she don't care about gun violence against black trans people. Matt Dorsey should fucking resign because it's his district, and that white boy propagandists don't care. Aaron Peskin should fucking resign because he hates black and trans people, and he's displayed it. And Guardio should fucking resign because he wants to add more cops to the city while taking away from the rest of us. You all have blood on your hands. I yield my time. Fuck you. First of all, fuck all y'all. All y'all are fucking pigs. Fuck all y'all. I don't give a fuck. I am tired. I am tired of opening social media and seeing black and brown bodies being shot, being thrown into jail cells, into mental institutions. Y'all aren't doing shit. We have been criminalized since babies. Police are in our schools. Police walk freely, murdering black and brown indigenous trans people. They have a scandal.
this is our land and y'all are just fucking pigs, all y'all. I'm here with my sister Emily from the Young Women's Freedom Center and we're here on behalf of Banco Brown. He deserves justice. Say his name. Banco Brown. Say his name. Banco Brown. Thank you. I believe, um, okay, there was one minute left. No, no, two, two minutes. You get two minutes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Ramirez, and I'm a student at UC Berkeley from the School of Public Policy. And as a person that one day will be taking your seats and will be actually protecting and keeping my community safe, I am here with the Young Women's Freedom Center on behalf of Banco Brown demanding for justice of his life. There is no reason that a security guard should be shooting a person that is trying to come across some basic necessities. Meanwhile, we are allowing white men to come into our schools and murder our babies while they are learning. That should not be happening. Why is it more f frequent that our black and brown communities are being murdered for these things? Meanwhile, you are not even protecting the children in the schools of America. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. The fact that that DA does not want to press charges for what happened to a young black trans youth is totally unfair. It's way enough evidence that's to be proven. I bet y'all 100% if it was an African American male or a brown male or female and it was a committed crime on camera, that shit would have been pressed. That was a life that was taken for racial profiling. Say that. Come on. Say that. I bet if y'all see me right now, if I had on masked up in a sweatsuit outfit, y'all probably think I was still, huh? A life was taken at Walgreens. Despite the unspeakable tragedy of the first killing of Bengal Brown, he continues to suffer additional deaths, slights, and indignities. In the span of less than a week, he's been dead named and misgendered by city agencies you have oversight over. Without apology or formal acknowledgement of their mistake, leading to, con leading to and continuing to drive insensitive local and national news coverage around a hurtful, tragic event. The Banco's Brown family and community need your support now more than ever because it sure didn't seem like he got any of it while he was still alive. In a time of widespread trans erasure through policy, political, and interpersonal violence, the killing of Banco Brown must concern every San Franciscan. I heard earlier you all speaking on the issue of houselessness in the city, acknowledging the ways that black people are disproportionately impacted. Think further the ways that young trans people within that same demographic are further vulnerable and need you to guide, protect, lead, and govern as your stations require you to do. And yet, again, the state is sanctioning and enabling the murder of young black trans people and saying that we do not deserve accountability as we see with charges being dropped with no case, no hearing, and that Walgreens needs to close. Justice for Banco Brown. Justice for Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name.